Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a brand new release from Petrified Fish. It's the Viking. Ooh, would you look at it? Just look at it. This is a Nashorn design. This was just released and oh my goodness, look at this. Right out of the box, we have to check out this micarta. A little bit of texture vision for you. It feels so nice. As far as micarta goes, this is like a six, where a seven would be perfect. It just has that nice rough feeling. It's not slick and it gives me some texture. I'm liking that. So it does not have a reversible clip, but it does have a deep carry pocket clip. No mushrooms growing in the shade. It has flat screws and it's inset into the liners. So you're not going to have anything to snag on your pocket. Very nice. And let me see it, how, how it goes in and out of the pocket. Oh yeah, it, it, there's no issue at all. It is nice and smooth. So very nice pocket clip and you know, it's got the hole back here so you can easily get to your T6s and then you also have a T6 for your body screws. On this side you have two T6s and right here is a, a Torx T8. Now these come, oh wait a minute, we wanna see the blade, ready? Pow, right in the kiss. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, what does the blade look like? It is quite a pokey one. Woo -hoo. Do you like the pokey blades? Because this is definitely pokey. You could get this in this satin or you can get the black stone wash. And you know what? This is very nice finish. This is K110, Bowler K110 steel. That is so nice. You could get the brown, black, blue, or the OD green like this one. So you do have options for your handles and for your blade steel. Now overall, this bad boy is 8.32 inches long. You have a 3.6 inch blade. So if you like the bigger blades, you're all set with this bad boy. Your blade thickness, 138 thousandths of an inch or 3.5 millimeters if you want to be precise. You're behind the edge. You ready for this, how slicey? 14 and then it trails up to 15 thousandths of an inch behind the edge. This thing only weighs 3.9 ounces, but it is a beast of a everyday carry knife. It's not the super lightweight at three ounces, but it's not quite four ounces. And your action, it is very snappy. This example that I have right here has an excellent, excellent detent. I wonder how sharp it is. Let's see if it'll cut a piece of paper. Ooh, oh, yes. Look at that. So this thing is, man, Petrified Fish, when they, they've been coming out with knives lately that just slice. So we're good for a factory edge. Here is what it looks like next to the QSP Penguin. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, if you have a penguin, now you, now you know what, what size, what ballpark we're stepping in. Here is the Spyderco Tenacious. It's oh so tenacious. I gotta remember to give you a chance to look at the knives so you can do a little comparison. And here's the Petrified Fish PF818 and the CJRB Feldspa. It's the Feldspa. So we're not too far off where we're doing the sizes there. You see, you get a little bit more blade and then handle wise, it's just about the same. And I'll show you two more. How about the Sativian ST132? And by the way, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're having a great day. And any of the knives or any equipment you see on my videos, I will always have a link in the comment section up at the top and in the description of the video where you could go check them out yourself if you want more details, pricing, all that kind of good stuff. So I would say these two are really, really close. Now, this looks a little bit longer because the, ca the angle of the camera is skewed up just a little bit. So if I bring this down here, watch what magically happens. They are much closer in size. So if I put the Ontario Rat blade up on top of this one, there's your sharpened edge. It does have more blade than the Ontario Rat. Let's check out the deployment. Now don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, support the channel, and make sure after the video that you leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the knife or anything. Let me know what you had for breakfast. Just say hello to everybody. Now here's the front flip, and man, this thing has a detent and a half, and it is virtually drop shutty. Look at this, oh yeah. And you know what I just noticed? Kudos to Petrified Fish. Look at this, sharpening, for days. That is excellent what they did there with the heel. You can sharpen this till the cows come home and you're never gonna have to worry about putting a smile on it. Wow, that is a major, major improvement. Thank you, Petrified Fish, for that. And then your jimping. The jimping is good. Um, the jimping needs to come out a little bit farther. This is just personal preference, but when I hold a knife like this, and let me back out just a little bit, when I'm holding it like this, you can see the jimping comes to about right here. So I don't hold knives like this with my finger. I don't cut like this. 
I put my thumb out like that. So it's not bad. It just a little more, maybe cut into the steel just a little bit more, give a little bit more aggression. So it helps lock. My hand is locked into place, but my thumb kind of wants to slide just a little bit. Now, the size of my hand is four inches, three and a half, and then bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. Oh yeah, that is very, very comfortable. No hot spots whatsoever. If you have it, I'll give it the B squeeze. If you have an extra large hand, you have plenty of room. I have a wide width hand, so I'm not having any issues with that. So in the classic grip, I'm good to go. Reverse grip, if you're gonna be opening some bags of mulch, ooh yeah, that's very comfortable too. So you have a full purchase on this handle. It is a relatively neutral, neutral handle. So it's not forcing your hand to be in any particular spot. So that I really appreciate. Now, as far as doing some utility cuts, you'd have to raise it just a little bit. It is a slightly upswept blade. It is a very nice looking spear point. The question is, can we use this fuller to reverse flick? I don't think so. Maybe if you had tiny fingers or a really hard fingernail, but it could be because this one has a very strong detent. So I can slow roll it. And when I'm opening it up on that slow roll, you see how strong a detent it has? That's a good thing. This knife is not going to come flying out on its own. So it's an intentional front flip. And I don't know if I can do it over the top with this one. I can't because my finger is not strong enough to get it out of the detent. So there you go. I'm telling you, Petrified Fish makes nice, strong work knives. All in all, it's another budget banger from Petrified Fish. These run around 48, 49 bucks. The only nitpick I would say is that it doesn't have a reversible clip. That would be a big plus is if we had a reversible clip for lefties and for people like me that like to wear a knife. Wear a knife? Is that what you do? <laughs> have a knife in my left pocket. So other than that, they nailed it on the choil. That's one place that's usually a thing. And then a minor little nitpick was be a little more aggressive into the steel so it's a little more grabby. But, but for what for the price, Bowler K110 steel, this, this uh, micarta is absolutely fantastic. I think this is definitely a great deal. I'm curious, what do you all think about it? Give me some thoughts, give me some opinions. Now go watch this video, you're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you again, and maybe see you at the live stream on Friday nights, Bees Blades live at the Hive, all right. Remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.